What's up Rad Family, I'm Dakota Freeman. In this video, I wanna teach you how to shift a dirt bike in boots. Now let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're always gonna to need to be wearing our motocross boots when we're riding a dirt bike. So the most important thing is gonna be learning how to shift through the gears because these things can be pretty stiff and pretty hard to bend our ankles in, making it a little bit more difficult to actually go through and shift the gears. But in this video, I'm gonna teach you a bunch of secrets on how to actually shift through the gears by having your feet in the right position to where one, you're not hitting the gears accidentally and you're gonna learn how to move your feet to get to the gear shifter and put them back on the foot pegs properly so that way we can shift our gears and get back into the proper foot position. There's gonna be a couple of different things we need to know before we even get into shifting our gears. The first thing is gonna be how do we even put our foot on the foot pegs? We wanna stand or sit with the balls of our feet on the foot peg. We don't wanna have our foot where the heel's out on the foot peg and our foot's extended over the gear shifter while we're riding. This is gonna cause you to accidentally hit your gear shifter and that's not what we're going for. We wanna make sure we know exactly when we're gonna shift our gears and that we are moving our feet forward and back to do so. This is gonna to be to where we're intentional when using our gear shifter and we don't hit it accidentally. So sitting down, you're gonna also notice that in boots, it's gonna be more difficult to shift through our gears. We are gonna to have to learn how to use our feet to actually get underneath the gear shifter and get back to the foot peg and then get over top of the gear shifter and back to the foot peg. At the beginning, I know this is a lot going on, especially if you're just getting into dirt bike riding, but I promise you if you stick with this, it's gonna soon become second nature and you're not even gonna to have to think about it anymore. The hardest part about shifting in boots is how stiff they are. We can't even bend our ankles, so then how do we go through and actually shift our gear shifter? Well, we're gonna use our foot peg as leverage. So whenever we're on the balls of our feet, like we should be, we're gonna actually pull our foot underneath the gear shifter and instead of like using your ankle to tap up, we're actually gonna be now on the heel, on the foot peg and use that leverage point to actually pick up our toe. This is gonna make it much easier to one, get underneath the gear shifter and instead of just using the force from your ankle to try to bend the boot, you now have the leverage of the foot peg to actually help you pull up on that gear shifter and then get back to the balls of your feet on the foot peg so you can continue riding in that next gear without accidentally hitting the gear shifter again. The same is going to apply whenever we are shifting down in gears, except we're not gonna have to worry about this leverage point with the foot peg. We're, all we're gonna have to do is simply pick our foot up, move over the gear shifter, shift down, and then put our foot back on the balls of our feet so that way we can continue riding. So now that we know how we're gonna go through and shift in our dirt bike boots, let me tell you about the rest of the controls that we're gonna to need to use when we're actually making a gear shift. So when we're going through and shifting the gears, we're gonna be using the throttle, the clutch, and our gear shifter. We always wanna make sure to let the throttle off when we're going through to shift our gears. This way we don't miss a gear or add any extra force onto the motor when we're shifting our gears. The second part of this is to pull in our clutch to free up the gears and make it much easier on our transmission to be able to move up and down through the gears without tension on our gears. This is gonna make it much smoother when you do shift your gears and make it much better for your transmission on your dirt bike. So as you let that throttle off, you're gonna pull in the clutch. Since you're riding on the dirt bike right now, you're gonna to have to now pull your foot underneath the gear shifter and actually shift up using the leverage like we talked about in the beginning of this video to shift up into the higher gears. Then release the clutch. Since you're moving on your dirt bike at this point, you don't need to focus on slowly releasing it like if you're starting out for the very first time, but you can simply just let the clutch back out and then get back on the throttle as you're now in your higher gear. So work on this and especially working on using your boots to articulate your ankle in the right way to be able to shift up is gonna make it a lot easier because you're gonna to have to learn this as you get into riding your dirt bikes. 
no matter what, you're gonna need to be wearing motocross boots whenever you're riding your dirt bike because it's so easy for us to injure our ankles and to dab our feet on the ground. So learning this, especially when we're getting into riding, is just something that we're gonna have to do. And I know it's something that we struggle with, especially early on, but it's much better to have these boots on and be protected whenever you're out there riding on the tracks and trails. So now that you know how to shift up through the gears with boots on, let's go ahead and go through another gear shift going down through the gears with boots on. Now what we're gonna do is do the same thing as before, except this time we're trying to slow down. So we're gonna let the throttle off. We're gonna pull in our clutch. And now we're gonna lift our foot off the foot peg over the gear shifter and tap it down to lower the gear. Once you've shifted down and pull your foot back up, put it back on the foot peg to where it rests on the balls of your feet. And this is gonna be the proper way to go through and shift a dirt bike with boots on. You see how I'm not actually using my ankle to articulate and bend to actually shift up and down through the gears. All I'm doing is sliding my foot underneath and either using the foot peg to actually give me that leverage so I can shift up and then putting it back or I'm pulling my foot up over using my whole foot at this point to shift down and then putting it back on the foot peg. So keep working on this over and over because this is going to be a very important part of getting better on your dirt bike. So now that we've gone over how to shift a dirt bike in boots while sitting down, I want to go over how to shift a dirt bike in boots while standing up. This is going to add a whole nother element into shifting our dirt bike because instead of sitting down and being in a resting position, we're going to be standing up on the foot pegs and you're going to have to take your foot off, putting all the balance on one leg. Then you're going to either have to get underneath, shift up, or come over top of the gear shifter and shift down. The hardest part of this is gonna be balancing on the bike with just one foot on your right foot peg where your other foot is gonna have to move forward or back and then get back to the foot peg where you can then stand on both feet again. The same techniques are gonna be applied when shifting down or shifting up. When we're standing up, however, we're gonna have to be standing on the balls of our feet and then slide our foot forward on that foot peg still using the foot peg as our leverage point to actually articulate and see how I'm kind of bending my whole knee back. You're not just using your ankle. You're using your whole leg to get leverage to actually shift up and then slide back to the foot peg. When you're doing this, you can still have a little bit of pressure on the foot peg to kind of balance between the two foot pegs because you're now standing up. You're gonna feel this difference other than when you're sitting down. But then as you get comfortable with this and you can slide your foot under the foot peg, shift up and then put it back on the foot peg where you're resting on the balls of your feet and continue riding, this is gonna be the best way to keep shifting on your dirt bike. This is really gonna help you take your dirt bike riding to the next level because you're gonna have to know how to shift gears while standing up to be a fast rider because if you're sitting down all the time, you're taking all these impacts to your body, where if you're standing up, you can now actually shift gears into the higher gears and not have all the impact from the track and the trail going straight into your body, making it to where you can ride for longer periods of time without getting as fatigued. Now, whenever we're ready to start slowing back down and shift down, this is where it's gonna get a little bit more tricky because we're gonna actually have to lift our foot off the foot peg, tap the gear shifter down, and then get back to the foot peg. And while you're riding, you're gonna actually have to balance a little bit of more weight on your right foot and over your handlebars, so that way when you lift your foot up and shift down, your bike doesn't just go one way and start to turn on you. Because as you're applying weight to just the right foot peg, it's actually gonna to wanna to pull your bike to the right. To counterweight this, we're gonna use our upper body and on the handlebars, we're just gonna brace both sides of the handlebars as we're lifting our left leg to get to that gear shifter. This way, we can actually have good control over the handlebars. We've got a good foot placement on our right foot on our foot peg, 
And now as we lift our leg up, we're actually gonna put a little bit more force on the left-hand side of our handlebar to counteract this weight difference as we lift our left foot and get to that gear shifter and then come back to the foot peg. I know this is a lot to think about, especially if you're new to dirt bike riding and it might not be something you learn on the first day, but keep practicing with these techniques and I guarantee you, you're gonna be shifting in your boots without a problem. The big takeaways from this is gonna to be to one, use your foot peg as a leverage point and to be able to actually use your whole leg to shift the gear shifter up as opposed to just using your ankle, especially if you have new motocross boots that are really stiff. Then learning how to take your foot off the foot peg, get over that gear shifter, shift it down is gonna be a whole nother part of this as well. And remember, every time we go through a gear shift, no matter if we're sitting down or standing up, we're always gonna have to let that throttle off, we're gonna pull in our clutch, and then go through and make our gear shift, up or down. At this point, we can then get our foot back to the foot peg, let that clutch back out, and then reapply throttle when you need it. Rad family, I'm so proud of you for taking this next step into your riding and really diving into how to shift gears with our motocross boots. We always need to stay safe and stay protected when we're riding, so make sure that you're always riding with a helmet and motocross boots at least. This is gonna be a huge part to taking your riding to the next level because it's actually one of the biggest questions that I get is how to shift in boots. So I hope that I solved your problems with this video and I can't wait to continue helping you improve your dirt bike riding. If this video helped you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and if you have any other questions, just drop them down in the comments below and I'll get right back to you. If you're still looking for more dirt bike riding tips, I'm always here. I've got a full dirt bike riding course over on my website that'll walk you through being a complete beginner and take you to an advanced rider mastering the tracks and trails. And if you just drop an email down at the bottom of my website, I'll send you my free dirt biking guide for free. So make sure you don't miss out on those deals, and I cannot wait to keep helping you with your riding.